Greetings, pen pals. Here we go, pen BBS 489. This is yet another filling mechanism from pen BBS. So it's a new filling mechanism for pen BBS. It's called the touchdown filler. It is by far not a new filling mechanism for the fountain pen world as a whole. This was popular many, many decades ago and for a very long period of time in many pens, predominantly those made by Schaefer back in the day. I'm going to show you and compare a bunch of those filling mechanisms to this modern touchdown filling mechanism. We'll go through how all that works, etc., and then we will actually fill the pen and you will see uh, me fill it for the first time, so you'll be able to share in that experience. In terms of pen BBS pens go, it's fairly, fairly typical. This is obviously the clear demonstrator version. It has the pen BBS sword style clip. It has around the cap band says pen BBS and then it says 489 Shanghai, China. In terms of overall size, here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. As you can see, very, very conventional, traditional size pen. It is a screw to uncap pen and it takes one and one quarter turns to unscrew. It is pretty good size wise unposted. As you know, I like to post, but unfortunately this pen doesn't really post. I mean, you could kind of stick the cap on, but it just doesn't stay there. So this is not really a postable pen. So woe is me on that department. Uh, it's got some nice, what I like to call chunky bits of acrylic. Uh, on both the distal end and on the top of the cap, which I think look nice. You can actually see the internal threading there, which I think just kind of looks kind of cool, quasi-industrial, etc. The cap does have this um, not, uh, sort of integrated cap liner type thing where it has a notch uh, or a ledge, I should say, that meets up with the uh, end of the section. So that should, I uh, can't verify, but that should keep uh, things all nice and uh, prevent from drying from drying out. Um, in terms of nibbage, again, very standard pen BBS. Nib some scroll work, says pen BBS since 2005, uh, an F for fine, uh, 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 etc. And uh, nothing, nothing uh, dramatic there. And of course, the normal uninspiring plastic feed. These are standard pen BBS nib units. They can unscrew, etc. Let's talk about the filling mechanism now, because I think that's where this thing really uh, comes into play. So here's how the filling mechanism works. You unscrew this cap here at the end to sort of just free up the cap. You then have this sleeve that pulls out. On the downstroke, there's a sack inside this sleeve that because this makes a seal here, what's going to happen is that sack is going to get compressed on the whole downstroke. When we get to the end of the downstroke, the compression will be released and allow the sac to fill and uh, the, you know, the, the vacuum will be released and allow the sac to basically fill. So essentially you pull it up, it does not fill on the upstroke, it fills on the downstroke. You push and it's actually won't still be filling yet. It will fill when you get to the end of the downstroke and the vacuum pressure will be released and allow the sac to fill. If you, that sound, if that sounds a little bit like a vac fill to you, it sort of is, but it has a sack and um, uh, uh, does not usually have the same capacity as a vac filler, etc. As I said before, this filling mechanism is not new. It was quite popular on some pens by uh, Schaefer. So, for example, uh, uh, here is a Schaefer touchdown filler from back in the day that worked pretty much exactly the same way. You unscrew this, you pull out the sleeve. You push it in, there's a sack that's getting compressed, and at the end of the downstroke, uh, the vacuum releases and it will allow the pen to fill. So this is a normal fountain pen from Schaefer that was a touchdown filler. Where the touchdown filling mechanism is particularly famous is in this type of pen from Schaefer, which is called a snorkel pen, which has, I don't know, I'm gonna say the coolest filling mechanism ever. I've done uh, some overviews of snorkel pens in the past, but Here's the deal with the snorkel pen. As you turn this, notice that that tube starts to extend from the front of the pen. The premise of the snorkel pen is you would dip that tube in your ink and then you wouldn't make any kind of a mess. You would then pull this out, push in to fill, just like on a normal touchdown filler. The ink would be drawn up through the snorkel tube. Now the snorkel tube has a tiny, tiny, tiny little hole. So the biggest mistake people make when they're filling these is not after they're done 
pushing this down, you have to then wait and I'll give the ink time to draw up because that hole was so tiny. But in any case, the ink would then draw up. You would then turn this back. And since the only, the only the tip of that snorkel tube was touching your ink, you have a no need to wipe uh, uh, after, uh, after you're done filling, which was a big, big sort of advantage back in the, uh, back in the day. So that's how those Schaefer snorkels worked. That's how this one works. But let's take this apart a little bit to see what's going on. So we'll take off the cap. Um, we'll open up uh, the section from the rest of the barrel of the pen. And what we see here was we have this outer sleeve, which is what's doing the vacuum part of the filling business. So I'm pushing here, there's vacuum pressure, and then it gets released when I get to the bottom of the, of the downstroke. So this now is a sort of a sealed vacuum system, if you will. And then we have this business here. So this is simply an outer sleeve that protects the sack. And the key thing is this is not sealed. It's open at the bottom. So you, the, the air can get in through there and then squeeze against the sack. That's where the compress, that's how the air gets in to compress the, uh, to compress the sack. This is removable. Um, uh, so this is sort of a self-contained unit, which is a sleeve with an integrated sack built in, and then it makes a seal on the top. This is identical to a system that Schaefer had as well. So here's the Schaefer Legacy 2 pen. This pen was designed to be able to fill with cartridge cartridges, a converter, or through the touchdown filling mechanism. So it really had three different filling mechanisms. The way that it did that is it has a normal touchdown filling mechanism, exactly as we've seen on this pen BBS pen. When you open it up, you can see that the way it's implemented is again, exactly on this pen BBS pen, where you have this protective sleeve with an open end and a sack inside. You can remove this. And then the cool thing that Schaefer did was this interface here was exactly compatible with Schaefer converters and Schaefer cartridges. So I can remove this adapter and put a converter in there or put a cartridge in there or I can use the touchdown filler. So you have literally three different filling mechanisms on this one Schaefer pen, which was pretty cool. But this bit is exactly what pen BBS is doing, uh, is doing here with this uh, same as in this touchdown filler on this Schaefer Legacy 2 pen. So that is that. And this is, like I said, our pen BBS 489. Now, of course, you want to see how this pen fills. And I'm going to show you that right now. All right, I'm going to be filling up this pen with pen BBS Chengdu Red, which is a, a pretty, pretty vibrant red ink from, uh, from pen BBS. And let's see how that goes, shall we? All right, let's uncap this pen and see how it fills. So like we said, we're gonna pull this out again. It fills on the downstroke. So let's see if we could do this in such a way that it's gonna be visible nicely on camera. So I'm gonna immerse this, I'm gonna push it down. And hopefully it was drawing up ink. Let's expel the ink and see how much it actually drew up. And the answer is, oh, an okay amount. All right. So let's just fill it again. So then we can actually write with it. And then we'll go from there. So there we go. Give that a couple of seconds to actually draw up the ink and fill. And then we will see how it writes. So that was, that was pretty good. Not too bad. Now you want to see how this pen writes, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, folks, what we're writing with here today is a pen BBS number 489, and this is a touchdown filler. And this has a number six steel nib in fine. So in terms of writing, this is just like any other pen BBS pen with this particular nib. So we, of course, it's smooth. It's got great flow. 
I'd say it's about average wetness with this ink. Um, all in all, it writes well, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. Speaking of happy, one thing that would make me happy is if you can all please like, comment, share, and subscribe, I would be really, really pleased. Um, in terms of this pen, overall I'm very, very pleased. It's nice to see an old school fill, uh, filling mechanism come back. I mean, the touchdown filler is an okay filling mechanism. I think it's really one of these cases where PenBBS want, just wanted to literally make sure they have every conceivable filling mechanism that's ever invented somewhere in their pen inventory. Um, so this is one of them. Um, I would love to have seen them come back with the snorkel. I think that would have been amazing. This would have been the pen of the decade for me if, it, if, it, if they brought back the snorkel mechanism. That would have literally been incredible. Um, they pretty much hit every filling mechanism that I could think of. I don't think they've done a lever filler yet, but uh, you know, someday maybe, but um, uh, I don't think anybody's missing lever fillers all that much. Um, button filler would be cool though. Button filler would be cool. Um, in any case, I, the thing I would have really loved to have seen would have been the snorkel. The snorkel would have absolutely, like I said, this would have been absolutely the pen of the decade uh, 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 if it had that. But again, it's a great pen from Pen BBS. It's got a pretty cool filling mechanism. There are better filling mechanisms from Pen BBS. I think. Uh, uh, the 456 vac filler is just a better pen than this one. It posts, it does a lot of things that this one doesn't do. It probably has a bit bigger ink capacity. It's a, you know, um, you know, all in all, I think it's, uh, it's probably a better pen. So if you're looking just from a functionality perspective, I'd go with a 456. Um, if you're looking for just another cool filling mechanism to kick off your bucket list and you don't want to invest, invest in a uh, in a vintage uh, Schaefer pen, this could clearly be the uh, the way to go. At any rate, I think that will just about do it for this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching it because I sure enjoyed making it. And until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye bye.